What is going on guys, FC Zaps here, and I know I've been route to Dark Matter series here for a minute now. I rest assured I have been actually grinding this game, trying to get diamond for all my weapons here. Uh, so that brings us to today's video where we're about to get uh, assault rifles diamond and I've also got all my shotguns and snipers diamond as you may have noticed in past videos or may not have if you're new here. If you're new here, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. But yeah, basically all I need to do is get two more double kills with this QBZ here and then we have diamond assault rifles. And after that, I'm probably going to move on to tack rifles. I've even got classes made up right here so we can move on to that immediately after. But yeah, let's go unlock it. We're pulling ahead. Oh, I... Why does it do this? Oh my god, they're spawning right here! I was not paying attention to the minimap. Damn it. God damn it, teammate. Still on the kills. Okay, that's one heart. That's one double. I'm gonna wait here for a moment for it to register. Two. Uh, is that two? Yes, that's two. Sweet. Hopefully that didn't count as a quad. Oh, there we go, Assault Rifle Diamond. Just have to finish out the match in order for it to save, because if I leave now before the match is over, it, uh, it'll backtrack. And that's exactly what was going wrong with the Street Sweeper when I was trying to get it. Like, it'll say you got it if you back out, but as soon as you restart the game, it'll backtrack. Okay, well, I'm gonna swap classes, actually. How do I just get a hit mark on Hardcore? I know it's through a wooden fence, but still. Aim, that'd be nice. Oh, that's a triple. That's a quad. That's a five man. <laughs> I just hit a five man with attack rifle. All right, boys, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Mm. Mm. Look at that. Dude, it sucks we can't move the gun around like 360 like you can on the arm warfare, but all right, so that's three out of eight category, or three out of nine categories. I'm a third of the way there. Dude, diamond in this game looks so nice. It really does. It looks kind of meh in Warzone, but let's take a look at diamond on all of these assault rifles, shall we? QBZ looks pretty good. Uh, there's definitely more gold than diamond, which is kind of a disappointment. Um, this thing reminds me of like a PDW SMG in Black Ops 2, where it had a bunch of ammo in it, but it was like it was like medium damage and medium rate of fire. It's pretty much what this reminds me of. It's like the assault rifle version of the PDW. All right, so the XM4. Let's look at diamond on that though. Mm. We got the AK, which um, is actually pretty good. And we got the Craig. Look at that. So there's like a big bulk of diamond in the middle, and the rest is gold. <laughs> and then we got the FFAR. All right, Twinkle Cox, it's victory lap time. Protect the VIP while they exfil. Enemies down to one. Make it zero. Found him. Oh shit. VIP neutralized. Got both. <laughs> Fire let you die, bud. One open the tower. He's got armor. Got the guy in the tower. I'm on up in the tower already. VIP under fire. Repeat. VIP under fire. Jump down off the topper. Drop it. Got him. I'll come revive you. In the bushes by B. By the bunker. Good shit. VIP under fire. VIP under fire. <laughs> Damn, this thing's good. Good job, BND. Prep to reinsert. VIP attempting exfil from Alpha. Take them out. VIP is down. <laughs> VIP is down. All objectives have been met. What I want to know is why the fuck did the VIP go first? I'm a popular V. 
You're under fire. Find your protection detail. Cover me, cover me, cover me. No! Shit. Fucking idiot teammates. I'm gonna buy you real quick, Cecil. So. I'm gonna try to wrap around behind them. Got one behind, there's another one here. The IP is down. Repeat. The IP is down. All objectives have been met. They got a jammer. Oh, one right by A behind the crate. Got him. Oh shit, another one in the back. The IP is taking fire. Keep the package safe. Fuck. One in the plane still. Two in the plane. Oh my god. VIP is in the plane, he's got a knife. <laughs> well thought. Also guys, uh, before we end the video, I do want to go over uh, each camo category for the assault rifles to give my, um, my advice on it. Obviously we got eliminations and headshots, which will come naturally. We got five kills not dying. You can camp. I mean, you can run and gun too. It's easier to run and gun than get this and hardcore. Actually, no, I take that back. It's easier to do in core because everyone camps in hardcore. Uh, then we got long shots. I showed you three spots of Nuketown. The garage facing to the other garage is one long shot area. Um, if you're spawning behind in the large field, I believe it is Red House. On the left side facing the other side's garage, that's also one. And then you can also go in the corner of the bus facing the spawn of the other house where it has a small backyard. Uh, that's what I did to get it. And I went hardcore and went prone and just waited for people pretty much. And I know that sounds like a dick move, but it's just the fastest way to do it. Then we got the foral patterns, which are 75 kills with enemies detected. Basically what you want to do here is run all your UAV, all the UAVs you can, as well as put on this more reliable as the field mic, as well as gear heads and get more field mics and have two at a time. If you do it on Nuketown especially, you can put two down in each house and you'll basically be covering two thirds of the map. So it comes really fast if you combine the UAV with that. Then we got the science here, which is uh, kill enemies sit in cover. Basically, just kill people all sitting on head glitches and in windows. Um, again, I did in Nuketown. I waited till people went on the uh, Jeep or the car, and then I shot them off of that. And I also shot window campers. And obviously, double kills, which is easier in hardcore, in my opinion, as you saw. So that's pretty much my advice for it. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for the video. Sorry if my voice was a bit raspy and quiet today. I do have a bit of a dry slash sore throat. But other than that guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and hit the bell so you guys don't miss any more uploads from the channel. I'll be trying to upload more on this game and my progress on Roger Dark Matter and try to give you guys some advice of how I got through it. Especially when I go back to the launchers because I still haven't finished that. I do not plan to do the launchers until I have everything else done. But other than that guys, hope you guys did have a good time watching, and hope you guys have a metal day. I'll see you in the next one.